Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can install and use ngrok or ngrok on your Mac operating system. So ngrok is a tool that allows you to expose a local server to internet securely. So it's commonly used by developers to test and demo web applications that are running on their local machines to their peers or to their customers. So for example, I have this uh, local server which is running on my local host port 3000 and I want to show this demo to my peer and this server is lo running locally on my Mac operating system and my colleague sits in some other city and I want to show him this demo. I can use ngrok to expose my uh, server and he will be able to see it using ngrok. So let's see how we can install ngrok. So first of all, open your favorite browser and search for ngrok. And the first link which will appear here will be from ngrok.com. So here, first of all, you need to have an account in this ngrok site to use ngrok because you need to give the authentication token to use the ngrok. So if you don't have any account, you can click on sign up here and the sign up is really simple. It will ask you the name, email and password and you can just sign up very easily. If you already have the account, you can click on the login button and here you can log in to your ngrok account. So I already have an ngrok account, so I'm going to log in to my ngrok account first. And once I'm logged in to my ngrok account, it's going to look something like this. So, so here on the left hand side, I have the setup and installation section. I can also see how I can uh, use ngrok on my Mac operating system. You can also see uh, some other options related to ngrok. So you can monitor your uh, connections using this panel itself. So here on this uh, first page, which is under setup and installation, ngrok website is automatically going to recognize that you are on the Mac operating system. So you can see this Mac OS agent. And then when you scroll down a little, this documentation is going to show you how you can download and install ngrok on your Mac operating system. So the simplest way using which you can install ngrok is by using brew. Brew, if you don't know, is a package manager using which you can install many applications on your Mac operating system. If you don't want to use Brew, then the other option is to just download the binary file by yourself for Apple Silicon chip or Intel chip and you can unzip that file and then you can use that file that way also. I already have Brew installed on my Mac operating system, so I'm going to use this command. If you don't know how to install Brew on your Mac operating system, I'm going to put the link of the video in which I have shown how to install Brew on the Mac operating system. So just watch that video and then Brew will be installed on your Mac operating system and then you can use this uh, Brew install command. So let me copy this uh, command here and then I'm going to click on this spotlight search option and then search for terminal and then open the terminal and then I'm going to paste this command into my terminal. The command is brew install ngrok forward slash ngrok forward slash ngrok and then and then press enter here which is going to start the installation of ngrok tool. So once this uh, install ngrok tool command finishes I can clear the terminal and then I can use the ngrok command. So as I said, you can use ngrok to expose your local server to the outside world. But first of all, you need to provide the authentication token to use ngrok. So when you go to the documentation, so we have uh, already given this command to install ngrok on our Mac operating system. The second step is to run this command which is to add the authentication token of ngrok into your configuration file. So I'm going to just copy this command. Once again, go to the terminal and then paste this command here and then press enter. And you can see out token saved to the configuration files. Once this out 
token is saved. Once again, we can go to the documentation and now you can test your apps using the ngrok command. So for example, if your app is running on port 8080, you can use this kind of uh, command to test your local server. So as I mentioned, my app is running on local host port 3000 and this I want to expose to the outside world, right? So what I will do is I will just uh, open the terminal again and in the terminal, so to expose my localhost port 3000, I can use this command, which is ng rock and then HTTP. So you need to write the ng rock command and then the protocol. You can also expose some other protocols using ng rock. For now, we want to use the HTTP protocol and then simply write the port which you want to uh, expose. So right now my test server is running on localhost port 3000. So here either I can write HTTP colon forward slash forward slash localhost colon 3000 and then press enter and it's going to expose my localhost to the outside world. Now, once I do that, I will see uh, this kind of uh, URL, which is the ngrok URL. So let me maximize this. And you can see my local host port 3000 is forwarding data on this URL. So I can copy this URL from here. So this URL you can copy and this is the URL to which your local host 3000 server will forward its data. So let me uh, open the browser tab once again and then open this URL. First of all, you will see this kind of interface which is going to give you some kind of information about ngrok and then when you click on visit, you can see now I can see this hello world but the URL is different. It's been exposed to internet securely using this URL. So this URL I can give to my colleague or to my friend who can also see the same result until my server is running locally, right? So this is how you can expose the local server which is running locally on your Mac operating system to the outside world. You can also see that whenever you uh, give some request, it's going to show you all the requests which are coming to this URL to access this server here itself. Also, when you go to your ngrok account, so here you can go to your ngrok account where you will see all the data and you can see this uh, URL starts with 3E7 app, for example. So you can go to the cloud edge and see the endpoints and you can see what are the endpoints which are active using your ngrok accounts. And from here, you can also view what's happening with this uh, URL for example. So I can click on this option here, which is going to show me the traffic on this server, right? So when I once again reload this, this traffic is going to um, once again update. Right? So you can see I received the request 34 milliseconds ago. So it updates really fast. I also have some more advanced options here. So these advanced options are available with the paid version. So if you want to uh, upgrade to the paid version, you can use these commands. So for example, you can also use TCP addresses. You can also see uh, the ingresses if you uh, have any, and then you can also have the observability of the traffic, uh, which is coming to your local server. Right. So this is how you can install ngrok on your Mac operating system and use it to expose your local server. So I hope you have enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next video.